All right, guys, this is Ryan from Trezian Racing, and I did a Speedmaster Vortec intake manifold review a little while ago. And here I have a Summit Racing part number 226062, aluminum Vortec small block Chevy intake manifold. And so I'm gonna get, kind of go over this with you guys and show you the pros and cons of what I see about this, what's better about it, what's worse about it compared to the Speedmaster intake right now. All right, so right out of the box, I'm noticing this thing has a whole lot better machining process. It looks like it's a better overall casting. Um, everything looks really nice. All the mating sur surfaces here are uh, very smooth and no defects in them. So I'm happy with the way it looks. Uh, going back to the Speedmaster intake manifold, the only real difference I see here is the fact that the Speedway, or Speedway, Speedmaster, excuse me, intake manifold had the coolant crossover ports back here. Um, so obviously these don't, if you wanted to put them in, I'm sure it wouldn't be a real problem, except for it's kind of weird looking here. So you might have to, I don't know, maybe come in here with a angle grinder or something and get it flat and then you can go ahead and drill your hole if you want to do the coolant crossover ports, which I always like doing on these uh, small block Chevy motors. Um, but anyways, this is a square bore uh, carburetor adapter here and the Speedmaster one was a, a spread bore. So I'm a much bigger fan of this. I was looking at Summit's website and they have another intake manifold that shares all but one part number of this one does. So instead of it being um, 062, it's 060. And the only difference I can really tell between this one and that one is the fact that that one has a notch right here, comes down and uh, basically just kind of equals out the air in here. So if you do want to bolt your carburetor right to this, um, it'll work a little better because um, when you put a carburetor right on here, these uh, dual planes seem to like a, l a little bit of a spacer, like a one inch open spacer. They always re uh, seem to re uh, respond pretty well to that. So um, that's the only difference. I wish I would have got that one, but I have enough hood clearance here for a one inch, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, but that would probably be the better option. It's the same exact price. So this intake manifold uh, from Summit was 150. Um, and then you have to add tax and shipping and all that stuff. So it's probably in the neighborhood of 160 shipped to your door. Um, but basically it's not too bad. I believe this is now the cheapest intake manifold out there for the Vortec uh, small block Chevys. Um, the previous one I bought that I'll link the video um, in this video, I'll give the link there. And that was the review I did in the Speedmaster. And that was a 1-147-004. Um, I looked that up recently and that was about three years ago I did that video and back then that was the cheapest manifold out there for the Vortec um, at least aluminum intake manifold that I'm aware of and it was 140 back then I looked at it now and it's $260 so it's a big jump so I believe this is now the cheapest manifold out there uh, let me flip this over and then kind of show you guys why I think this is so much better of an intake manifold than the Speedmaster was so in the video I did with the Speedmaster I showed you guys how horribly uneven all the uh, runners here are in the ports and it just was a mess. So right out of the box, this thing looks a whole lot better. All these ports are very, very similar. They don't look all over the board like the Speedmaster would be cocked, one would be really tall and skinny and the other one would be really wide and fat. It just was a mess. Um, but these look really good all across the board. Um, I will say that these ports do look a little bit smaller than the Speedmaster. Um, the Speedmaster, I could almost get two fingers in and there's no way I'm getting two fingers in any of these. So I think they might be a little bit smaller, but that might be better for the velocity um, thing. If you guys aren't trying to push a whole lot of horsepower, you're not running a monster motor, which is gonna be like a 350 or whatever. This is probably gonna be a real good running street motor. If you put the uh, this kind of intake manifold on it with a lot of velocity, have really good throttle response. But um, besides that, I don't really see anything else that's horribly bad over here. The only thing that's kind of weird is I noticed that this side over here has a much bigger mating surface, a machine surface right here, than this size does. And uh, the Vortec uh, cylinder heads don't have an exhaust crossover port, 
but I don't know about the aftermarket. I don't know what's out there. If there is an aftermarket head out there that still has a crossover for the exhaust, this is gonna be a big problem because I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is a 1206 gasket that's just for a regular small block Chevy, but as you can see, this gasket does not have the provision for the exhaust crossover. So if you just put one of these kind of gaskets on there, um, this is obviously not gonna hold the exhaust gases in. It's gonna push down and it's gonna come all out into your crankcase and it's gonna be a mess. So I don't know, I'm just kind of going off speculation right now, but if there is an aftermarket cylinder head out there with the Vortec intake manifold uh, bolt pattern through it, do not put this intake manifold on it unless you somehow plug up the cylinder head side of the exhaust crossover with weld or I don't really know all the tricks out there, but that would probably be a big problem. But just for a regular Vortec cylinder head, this thing should be pretty good. I believe this would be a real good street intake manifold, really good throttle response. I will go out there and say that the Speedmaster intake manifold I did the review of, I put that on a motor uh, on a run stand. That thing was very responsive. I mean, very, very responsive. I did have the one inch spacer on it, um, but it just was really good. I cannot tell you how it did on the, on the street. I don't know what it was like a wide open throttle and what kind of power it was making, but it had good throttle response. This, I'm very, very, very confident it's gonna have just as good a throttle response. And uh, it's just a better overall intake. If you did wanna do some port work in here and open this up a little bit, um, this looks like it'd be the better overall deal on a budget. So um, that's all I can really say. I don't have any kind of flow numbers or uh, any real uh, in-person like performance, um, any kind of insight like that. But this is what I have. And I just figured I'd show you guys what it's like out of the box. It's a nice unit for the price. And uh, I hope you guys uh, can leave some feedback. If you guys have one of these, let me know in the comments. So in closing, I do want to just say that this is not the best intake manifold you can buy for the Vortex small block Chevys. That would be the Eldebrock RPM air gap, in my opinion. Um, but if you guys have been out there perusing the internet and you're thinking about buying an intake manifold, you'd probably know that the Eldebrock uh, manifold is about twice as much as this is. So uh, this is the right intake manifold for me because I'm a budget racer. Um, we do the dirt track, circle track thing here at Triazine Racing. And our motto is if it's bent and ain't broken. So we try to take uh, the junk we have, the budget stuff like this intake manifold, and make it as best we possibly can. And uh, try to make our horsepower on ingenuity and willpower than just straight up money and having somebody else do all the work. Um, we want to learn and do it our way and see what we can do with a little bit of uh, elbow grease. So that's what we do here. If you guys are like that and you guys do all this kind of stuff in your garage, it doesn't matter if you're doing racing or just hot rodding, whatever it is, uh, you are what we call 90 percenter. So more power to you guys. Uh, don't pay everybody to do your work for you. Try to do it yourself and try to understand it and uh, just do the best you possibly can. So I'll see you guys next time on Tracing Racing.